guys and welcome and welcome back to my channel so we are in the month of February and this month is going to be lit not just because it's my birthday month not just because it's black history month but because finally the movie that we have all been waiting for Black Panther releases in what 11 days somewhere around there I don't, I don't know by the time you know this video goes up so you know we're all excited and the other day on snapchat one of my uh one of the people who follows me on there says you know can you do a black panther makeup inspired video and i'm pretty sure that same day i came across uh, this photo right here so i was like you know i feel like this just fell into my lap here so i'm gonna go ahead and recreate it hopefully and um yeah because i feel like i don't know what i'm doing right now and because this might take a while let me just stop talking and get into it so i'm gonna start off by using this shade from the juvia's place magic palette as my transition shade And then I'm going to take this shade from the same palette and start using that to map out where my crease is. Now I'm going to use this Morphe palette to use that shade and start blending this out. And then use this purple shade from the same palette right on top of that. Now I'm going to go back to that shade that I used to map out just to blend it out just a little bit. And this shade from the Sephora Pro palette I'm going to use on my lid before I use this shade from the Magic palette, which I don't have on camera because I don't know where that clip is. So about this foundation, see what had happened was I was trying to use products from black owned companies or companies that just cater to women of color for this video. And this was the only foundation that I had to use for that. See, I, can, I, I see it that your girl looks borderline orange, but you know, we just gonna act like we don't see it because I didn't have anything else to use. I mean, I probably could have used Fenty, but that still isn't the right shade anyway. So you know what? Just, just roll with it. All right. Let's just roll with it. Now I'm going to use this black opal concealer. So I'm going to use the Fenty Matchstick in Espresso to contour my face, even though I prefer a powder contour, but y'all get, get the point. You know, we're trying to stick with, you know, black owned and women of color friendly. So I used this trio from Makeup Forever for blush. And of course I had to use good old Aunt Jackie's highlighters for my highlight today. So I used this lipstick, Triple Fudge Brownie and the Wet and Wild Cat Suit in, I don't remember the shade, for my lips, which I am gonna go back to after I fill them in. Now I'm just looking at my phone so I can see specifically where all the white dots on her face are so I can try to recreate that and you know I attempted to do that using the white face paint from Snazaroo and I would certainly suggest using a smaller you know circle I probably should have used the other end of this pencil I felt like my dots came out a little too big um, which is why I didn't really care for the dots at the end of the look but you know learn from my mistakes if you are gonna do something like this use a smaller you know stencil for your dots so they don't look this big unless you like that and then you know go ahead and do that so these are all the places that she has the dots on her face in the picture so I'm just going to recreate that she also has this line down her lips so I did that as well and I went back with the mented gloss just because her lips look shiny in the picture so that is it for this Princess Sherry look. Hope you liked it. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!